we made a compromise between better protecting children, but also protecting privacy and data. It's detected through law enforcement activities like covered investigations, but also by detecting communications by providers who are offering services like emails or messages. We are clearly talking about unencrypted content in messages, so we are looking into images, into pictures, text, but we are not following audio. We are talking about the so-called hashing technology to identify already known pictures, images and videos, but we are also talking about identifiers, artificial intelligence, especially for checking uh, cyber grooming technologies who are not limiting their technology to what is strictly necessary to detect child sexual abuse are not allowed. This legislation was created to allow the continuation of voluntary activities of providers to detect child sexual abuse material, so there is no obligation for any provider to do this. We ensured during the negotiations that the text is aligned with current data protection legislation. So we added safeguards like better informing the user, but also clear data retention periods. Mm -hmm.